months. Yeah, but this is what I'm talking about, though. It's not just being friends. Okay, oh, oh right. we're, we're just friends. I got mm-hmm. it. Shane, Butter, and I, we're friends. Right. No matter how much you want this, it's never going <laughs> to happen, okay? We're friends, okay? <laughs> <She's> like, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> now that that's settled. <laughs> Today we're talking <laughs> about being friend zoned. I mm. saw this video that's been out for a bit now, and it's about mm. this couple that yep. goes on what's Rain Brady show? It's a deal man, no let's deal? make a deal and deal or no deal. What I forget. Deals? Yeah, anyway, it's something about a deal goes on that show, mm-hmm. and there's this whole thing, and we're gonna watch the video and we're gonna take a look at it because we're gonna talk about friend zoned. This is a whole saga, and then we're gonna talk about it with us. Like, you know, have you been friend zoned? Have you been friend zoned? Let's jump into the video right here. This is... So, now, how long have you guys been together? <laughs> uh, about six months. That's it? It's new? Oh, it's newish. We're yeah. friends. <laughs> We're just friends can that we, he wants to... Can we talk about this uh, not in front of everyone, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. It's complicated. I'm single, guys. I'm single. What? So we have this. So, okay. So, I don't want that to start. That's fair. My first thoughts: Is it real? It's like parts of it feel real, and parts of it don't. Right. Because like she's laughing so hard, saying, "No, no, no, we're just friends. We're just friends." And he's his comment about, "Can we not talk about this on the show?" That made me feel like it wasn't real. Exactly. Yeah. Me too. I really felt yeah. like that, especially the way he kind of looks. Yeah, it feels like it. That was staged, mm-hmm. like they, this was planned out, and that was acting. Yeah, because I feel like if that was real, you would have to just swallow it and kind of just like mm-hmm, and just kind of almost yeah. play into what she's doing. And be like, no, 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 I'm just playing. Yeah, yeah I'm we're just, just friends. Just, yeah, yeah not space. going that hard at being like, no, like we're together. You yeah, know, exactly. That, that seems. How long have you been dating? Six months. <sighs> no, we're just friends. We're just friends. But what what really got me though is the look at the end that he has on his face. I I can see if I can bring this back. So we have this. Oopsies. Oh, the look, mm-hmm. the look. Just if this is staged, that look. He's a fucking Oscar award winning actor. He might to be, be the new Tom Hanks. We don't. Know. It's so good. Like, he might actually have feelings for this girl, sure. but was trying to do kind of a staged thing. Maybe didn't tell her, and that's why she's laughing. And she's like, "Wait, what? No, we're just friends. We're just friends." I don't know. Now, why might he be in the friend zone? This is the thing. Like, how do you get? Why do you get friend zoned? How, why do people get friend zoned? You say you get friend zoned a lot, and we'll get to that. I've been friend zoned. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Money's never been friend zone. He's just, yeah. I just, think, I, I'm glad I you got that friend, look. I'm no. glad you got that look. He's been friend zoning, apparently. Oh, man. Now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's that outfit. That's why you got friend zone, buddy. Like, come on. No. Maybe you got to dress up for the show, right? It doesn't really. At least fly. <laughs> Little ties are back. All right. So, yeah. this is this whole Wayne Brady, deal or no deal, whatever show he's on. Um, drama about the friend zone that went out and so i got the other video it's wayne brady i haven't watched this one yet apparently okay. saying that this is real that it actually happened that's crazy let's see here i gotta talk to you about this guy that got friend zone oopsies hard on the show um this is tmz Uh, Let's make a deal. Part of the beauty of the show is you don't know who's going to walk in dressed as a turnip or or a, or a football, and it turns out they have this great story. And that whole thing, I loved it. I I feel bad for him. Oh. Yeah. But personally, as it was happening, I saw what was happening, and my job as the uh, as the master of ceremonies is just to let things run their course. So mm-hmm. that's why I just let them play. Were you just thinking? All right, so he says it's real, but it still doesn't mean that they didn't right. stage it. Right, right. Or yeah. just him. Just it could have just been him that staged it. And yeah. True. 
I just, <sighs> she had no idea he was going to do that. That's why, especially because she was laughing so hard. Like, no, no, what? We're just friends. Right, you know? exactly. Like, That's... Oh. The, the way he... Yeah, that one where he he kind of he he is like, can we talk about this backstage? That felt like it maybe maybe stories. it would be genuine, but maybe yeah. it was like, oh, that's kind of a line that he mm-hmm. had planned. The way he did the look and stuff is like, would you really react that way right. on my TV? Maybe I don't know. But the look at the end, like I felt it. I felt the just the hurt, the shame. Mm. Mm. I don't know. My take is like they want people. You can't be boring on those shows. You have to be entertaining. That's why. That's why they dress up. Exactly. Like in you that have weird to bow tie. Have, you have to have a bubbly personality. You have to. I hate to say it, but it's it goes back to watching shows where they realize some of the same people are on some of these same reality shows and game shows because they're amateur actors. They're trying to be seen, so they know they have to play up to the camera. And if you do something like that, you know that's going to be now what we consider a viral clip. Yeah. Especially if you are the one setting it up and the other person doesn't know it. So you're getting possibly a genuine reaction out of someone, but you're staged. And I'm I'm just 50-50 on that video. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still on percent I got one other video I'm going to yeah. show, and we'll see. Well, maybe it'll help us make a determination. Yeah. But you're right. You go on to that, people dress up because mm-hmm. they want to be on, mm-hmm. they want to get picked, they want to mm-hmm. be on the thing. But that went viral, and I only saw because I was scrolling through, and apparently my TikTok thinks I need to see people who have been friend zoned. I don't know why. And uh, the algorithm's choosing for me all it's these relatable. videos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it has this very sad music, and I'm just sitting there alone uh-huh. at like 1, 1 a.m., and like in my underwear on my couch, and I'm just kidding. I wasn't, none of that was real. I mean, <sighs> I was scrolling, but I was dressed fully. <laughs> sure. It was 1 a.m. It wasn't 1 a.m. Oh. It might have been. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at this last video. Okay. And, and we'll see if this convinces you whether you think it was real or still think it's Bring fake. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right. Let me mark this technology. Oh, shit. You just sounded really old when you said that. Well, I am. I'm a fucking Gen okay. Xer. You're a millennial, you fucking millennials. I tell you. Let me work this technology. Oh, man. This is how he's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you said, but I'm glad you're laughing. All right, once again from TMZ.cam. All right, let's watch this video. This is them. For the record, this is what happened. Okay, please, sure. We're, we're really good friends. We went on. Watch together. his looks. So they, I should have played the whole Wayne Brady thing because in that clip we just watched, he says, oh, they're not going to go to Mexico. Like, oh. oh. They won the trip to Mexico. Okay. But Wayne Brady in that interview that we watched, but we didn't go all the way through, said, no, they're not going to go. It's not going to happen. Oh. But it looks like they're going to Mexico. And she says. Mexico. I mean, we want it together. So, yes, oh, we're going to go. Yeah, that's why. Because we want it together. It seems staged. Here. No, I do, I do want to go with you. Okay. All right, so, so this is the I don't know. Mexico. His reactions. In Mexico, is it going to be one king size bed in that room or two queens? Well, we've already shared one a king. bed. It's going to be one king. Really? Gonna put, That's my question. Are going to put pillows between you two? Or, uh, Answered. I mean, a king is very big. I can, like, go to one side. Oh, my God. I wish he would have said two queens. And I won't even feel you over there. Got a little bit of dump truck there. You see that? 
I just want to rewind that. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to rewind that. It's a, sorry, sorry, butter, but I'm a dude, so. There you go. See? It's kind of going <laughs> It's staged. You think it's? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. That's, that made it even worse than the original. Mm-hmm. That's okay. so staged because they emphasize friends so much. I cut it so hard. My question was, again, even though you can be in the friend zone, <laughs> what is going on over Stop here? It. It's technology. Don't say too much. Don't say Okay, go. <laughs> it's the fact that that was my biggest question because you can be friend zoned, but you're friend zoned with benefits to different levels. You know, there's the friend zone where, oh, why don't you drunk and sleep? We sleep together, blah, 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 blah. It's what we do. There's a friend mm-hmm. zone where, oh, he's just there when I need somebody if we're hanging out or whatever. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay. Way. But you know what I'm saying? There's different levels there to is, friend zones. That was kind of my point when we, when you brought up this topic was there's definitely, and I feel like it kind of depends on which side was friend zoned on yeah. what the levels mean. So, so we, we have to get the hurt. definition of friend zone from do Urban it. Dictionary. We have to be Ooh. precise here. Friend zone Urban Dictionary. <laughs> I see what you're trying not to do. <laughs> All right, friend zone, a particularly aggravating metaphorical place that people end up when someone they're interested in only wants to be friends. It's impossible to get over someone while in the friend zone because as friends, you still see them too often for them to be erased from your memory, and yet you cannot be with them the way you want. Hypothetical. How would you react if I told you I liked you? Person one. I would just told you if I told you I liked you. I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt you, but I just want to be friends. Person one is now in the friend zone. When you get rejected and they just stay as friends, the most common people to get friend zoned apparently are Josh's, Tom's, Joe's, and Brent's. Interesting. That's just random. But so what you're saying is that there's different levels to friend zone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's friend zone, where it's like you just friends. Mm-hmm. Like I, I like the person. But they just want to be friends, and we're still in the same friend group, so I still see them hanging out, this and that. Okay? Only ever been just friends. Only ever been just friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, but we only just see each other in friend group, right? So I, we don't ever hang out, like, one-on-one. Mm, it's, maybe. It's a level. I'm saying this okay, is your it's, first it's, basic uh, level. Okay, like, okay. Oh, we're hanging out, and I like this person, and I, but no, but we never have hung out one-on-one. Okay. Then I think there's the one-on-one hangout. You mm-hmm. do hang out. Mm-hmm. And you do date like things. You go to dinner. You go to shows. You go Mm -hmm. on wine tasting trips. You do all these date like things and you like the person, Mm -hmm. but they just want to be friends. So you do all the date like things, but you don't get any of that other benefits. Mm -hmm. But then there's the friends with benefits friend zone Mm -hmm. where you like them and want more, but they're just hitting it. And it's not even a quit it. It's like no, it's they a, just yeah. But you want keep coming back from you. And you yeah. keep coming back. So you call, you that. said you, you said it was a uh, yeah, sex goggles. Oh. It's kind of kind of related to that. Yeah. Okay. And then I think those are the three levels. Is there any other level? There's probably sub levels, but it, I think that's a good general mm-hmm. three. I think yeah. that's a fair general three. But I mean, again, from a guy's perspective. If you're the, if you're friend zone but you only see each other in groups, that guy clearly knows there's no chance. But for some reason, the friend zone to me says a guy is holding on to hope. He's holding on to a chance of impressing this girl enough to get out of that zone. But when if, when she only wants to see you in a group setting, bruh, hang it up. Like, you should know you're so deep in the friend zone. You're so far that she's not thinking about you that way. Now, it's that second level. That one's the tricky one because that's the one where she's putting in effort. She wants to hang out with you. She wants to do these things. Or he. Or he. Well, I'm just, again, my perspective. Mm-hmm. Sure. So. Or he. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So, <laughs> he. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> so he now is like he's oh, okay. holding on to that hope yeah. because he truly is like I like this person. I'm willing to genuinely donate or not donate, d- dedicate time towards this. Mm-hmm. But again, I'm still trying to show her that even though we're out together and she's probably talking about this other guy she likes, I'm gonna show her I'm the better choice, mm-hmm. or try to at least. But he doesn't realize like 
she knows what your choice. She knows what options you bring. She doesn't want that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doesn't want that. And then you so in this situation, with, she knows you want more or doesn't know. So maybe there's another level. I think a level of she knows you want more. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there's a, there's a level of there's she doesn't know levels. you want more, but you're hanging yeah. out and she thinks you're just friends. Mm-hmm. Or and then the next level is she knows you want more, mm. and she still hangs out, or he still hangs out, even knowing you want more, and they're not going to give it to you. Mm-hmm. So you're in that. I feel like I've experienced both of those, where I, I, and probably more so now. I don't even say when I'm digging somebody and wanting it to be more than friends because I've experienced the the instance where I do voice it, mm. and. They still, they still put that effort in to hang out and be friends with benefits, and like, so there actually is another level. It's not just the hidden it level. It's where you're actually doing things daily <laughs> as if you're a couple. You're, you're, you're yes. You talk yes. every day, all day, right? And right. you see each other multiple times a week. You hang out. You're doing the nasty like there's all kinds of things that you're doing that if anybody yeah. else from looking from the outside they'd be like oh they're together yeah, yeah sure they're right but nope you're friend zoned and actually i got something else going on over here that i actually do want so it's everything but until that title. becomes official so it's everything we in the there title, yeah essentially yeah and that's pro- so so yeah and so here's again my experience of of being friend zoned and yeah. it's happened believe it or not is um so you're with the person yeah. or the, the girl in our case or guy in your guy. case in your case <laughs> and <laughs> it only worked when i did it it's not really that funny it's, it, Damn good child. Good child. <laughs> good child. um is that they are actually getting something from you gotcha you're getting something from them as well like mm-hmm. if there's people are, you're getting something but mm-hmm. again like they're the woman in my case they're getting date like energy Okay. They're getting that emotional satisfaction of mm-hmm. the company and attention of a man. Okay. But then they're not going to give you that other thing. But then, like in your situation, you know, or maybe they might be getting it from someone else, right? Mm. So someone else is d them down, but not giving them the emotional investment or the time investment. They, and they're getting it from someone else. They're, so there's another level of this thing. Okay. So I think I've experienced mm-hmm. that. And when I realized that I experienced that, I was like, nah, I'm not experiencing that anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be your... When, when you realize you're in the friend zone, it's like, just stop. Just stop. Mm-hmm. Don't be... Because don't be that emotion. And that's just... Yeah. Stop wanting more is what I'm saying. Go mm-hmm. find something else. Because mm-hmm. don't give them that emotional energy that you're, you're giving because you want to be more. Right. And then... Because it's going to stop you from all the other opportunities right. that might... You're pass you by closing the door oh, to other true. opportunities by leaving yeah. that door open with somebody that don't give a fuck about you and then of course <laughs> of course once you start dating somebody they're gonna be oh they're gonna watch oh you. they're gonna be hurt no they're yeah no they probably still don't yeah. give a fuck yeah well like in the last last one of the last podcast i talked about that scenario i saw out play out in the streets mm. where a guy was obviously friend zoned by a woman the woman started dating someone he didn't want to be around her anymore because he was jealous of the guy mm-hmm. and she was like why don't we hang out anymore and it's like, well, I know mm. why you're not, because he wanted to be with you more, and you yeah. friend zoned him, and you just, you're not, you're just yeah. too stupid or naive mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. unwilling to recognize that. So, so, why do people get friend zoned? Why, why does that happen? I can ask the uh, internet webs the top five I think you reasons. Should do that because I mean, as people that get friend zoned, I don't know that we're gonna have the answer. No, it would I don't the, always get friend zoned. Be, what do here? We apparently be, haven't been able to stop it. It's been twice. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> like, we don't know what we're doing. Once or twice. Yeah, it's not Once every size, time, but it's no. enough to be like, I'm Just not so digging you know, that shit. I have been <laughs> on the side of friend zoning. Okay, I've been on the side. You friend zone somebody? I, I've been on that side. No. I'm not proud of it. I don't believe it. I just want people to know I'm not a sucker all the time. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> yeah, I'm not friend zoned every time. I would yeah. say more so in the uh, last couple years. We got to work on that. We got to figure that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like All a right. plan. I'm asking Chat GPT the top five reasons people are friends on. Should I make it men and women? Let's see gender specific. Yeah. I'm going to make her talk. Okay. 
Hi, ChatGPT. Can you tell me the top five reasons, according to the interweb's logic and wisdom, that men get friend zoned by women? She's thinking. Hi there. The idea of being friend zoned often comes up in discussions about romantic relationships where one person wants a romantic relationship while the other prefers a platonic friendship. Here are the top Both reasons that might friends. explain why some men feel they end up in the friend zone. Too nice. One, lack of romantic attraction. Okay. Sometimes, a woman might not feel a romantic attraction to a man, but values the friendship. This lack of romantic chemistry is a common reason. Two, timing issues. If one person mm. isn't ready for a romantic relationship because of personal circumstances or timing, they might prefer to keep the relationship platonic. Three, misaligned intentions. The man might be expressing interest in a way that is more aligned with friendship, oh, got it. or he might not clearly communicate his romantic not interests. Not stating your needs. Four, comfort and security in friendship. Sometimes a woman values the friendship so much that she fears romantic involvement could jeopardize it. Five, perception and compatibility. The woman might perceive the man as incompatible for a long-term romantic relationship mm. based on values, lifestyle, or other important criteria. These reasons aren't exhaustive or universal, but they're commonly discussed in various conversations about relationships. What do you think about these reasons? I'm not going to tell you. I think I should have told her to be a little bit more concise in her talking because mm. she just goes on and on and on sometimes. Um, do you think it'd be the same for, I feel for, like, for, for, for men? I feel like some of it might be similar. Mm. Um I and now that I'm hearing those reasons, I'm like, damn, I think I've actually friends on people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I, I do think that there is something that people get when they friend zone and they continue to hang out in date like situations. Yeah. Like you're going that's, on date like situations. You, you are fulfilling an emotional need for them, but they're not reciprocating in the way you want. And that's the psychological harm and the emotional hurt mm -hmm. that comes from it. Like you see in this guy's face, whether that was fake or not, mm -hmm. that face, that hurt, is that's the expression. Mm -hmm. That's how you feel. Mm -hmm. um, th this makes it feel like it's all, you know, good. Mm -hmm. Like there's all, there's all the legitimate reasons no. why, but it's like... There's legitimately people that are going to use yeah. what is available to them, yeah. truly, like... I mean, if you're if you don't let me, I'm gonna do it basically. Yeah. Um, and I feel like I've experienced those, and I'm sure some of I these have. too have <laughs> been, yeah. There's a timing or the, you know whatever. It's well, yeah. question for you guys. So when you were friend zoned, how long do you feel like you were in that zone before you were like I need before to get I said here. fuck it? Yeah. Once I realized I made personally. Once I well, one of them was there was actual bounce go wow wow here mm -hmm. and there. Yeah. And then I went on a friend, a date like situation, and I had an expectation of Bow Chicka Wow Wow. Okay. Right. So I, I, I was on, I was using the person as well. Okay. So I went on a date like outing, mm -hmm. <laughs> only to discover that this person was going to go home, make a dinner, and get boned down by another dude. Mm. <laughs> you feel free to laugh. She's about to crack up. Suck no, and I was like, funny. "Damn!" I had, I had, I, no. Sorry. I had already, I had boned. No, I had, that's funny. I, I had had my times as well right. with this person. You, just, you were expecting you know what I'm saying? more. And when we did this, I was like, "Oh, cool! It's gonna happen again." Yeah. And when that happened, I was like, "I didn't talk to this person the entire ride home," and then I never reached out to so him again. Huh, huh. How did they go Good. about telling you that it wasn't gonna happen? Well, no, they told me, oh, I got to get back because I'm making dinner and so-and-so's coming over. And I was like, oh, mother. Yeah. I was like, mother. Do you think that was their way of clearly saying this is the end? No, I just think that they had no consideration. I think they used, that was a situation of me being used to fill emotional yeah, need say, of attention. With you. Oh, man. They needed attention that that person wasn't giving. That person was just coming over and laying Jeez. the bone. I know, it's Jeez. rough. <laughs> <laughs> for you now, this guy's right? never friend zone apparently well you know no no i've true. been He's so been friend no, zone I, over I, and over I, again every time every no, fucking day i'm not saying that because i'm probably the one that puts more unfortunately put so anyway, more women yeah. in the friend zone but i've been in the friend zone yeah i just i i think there's well different levels that's why i was curious because i've been in the friend zone where i'm like oh nah, i know where i'm at can't you be here but there's been other times while learning 
you know, that I was in a friend zone. It's, it's been a couple months. But, yeah, but this is what I'm talking about, though. It's not just being friends. Okay, oh, oh right. we're, we're just friends. I got mm-hmm. it. Shane, Butter, and I, we're friends. Right. No matter how much you want this, it's never going <laughs> to happen, okay? We're friends, okay? <laughs> <She's> like, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> now that that's settled. <laughs> right. I just want to be clear. <laughs> same with you, money. Oh. All right. She's insane. No matter, no matter how nice those eyes are looking. Oh, my God. Not going to happen. I'm, I'm oh. never wearing these again. What was my point? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't exactly. know. <laughs> exactly. I go for the giggles and I forget my point. <laughs> but... um. The thing is, is that, okay, (laughs) (laughs) no, I found it, I found it. (laughs) That's what she said. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'm not in Shay's friend zone. Who's? Who's? Butter's friend zone. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not in Butter's friend zone because I don't have any intention or desire to Right. Intention to try to, you know, that's not in right. my. Exactly. Know, so I'm not thinking so you're about just a friend. it. Right. So yeah. it's we're friends, but not friend zone. Because in my think of friend zone is like, oh, one person has to somebody want. has yes. feelings and the other person Someone doesn't. Yes. Feelings. So friends is different. Yeah. Friend zone is you have desire, mm-hmm. they don't, but then you still go out and do things often, and that's where <sighs> they're getting date like energy, and they're getting emotional. Energy from you, especially that's not reciprocated. if you guys are doing the nasty. And then there's the sexual aspect. But that brings me to a point. Some people put themselves in the friend zone. Oh sure. You know what I mean? Oh, like me you about. could be like, we're friends, and then that that one moment you're like, oh, I like this person. And you're like, you're now doing stuff to try to get those emotional connections, trying to ask to hang out more, do those things. That person has no idea. That you have developed the feelings. Well, maybe you're that now. It's a but, little bit different. Yeah, but so. the definition said that the one person voices it and the other person says. Oh, uh, no. yeah, yeah. So, so if that, you're not voicing yeah. it, that's mm. not friend zoning because they aren't aware. Just yeah. crushing it at that point. Yeah, but if you're doing things now, you're now you're in a, you're almost in a courting, even it might be undercover courting situation. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. Or you haven't, ex- or you haven't expressed your desire, <clears throat> but you continuously hang out, and they have no clue. Mm. Right? They think you're just friends. It was just like, you know, like if I had some desire for butter and like we're hanging out, but I never say, hey, let's, you know, can, can mm-hmm. I, no, 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 no. never make a move of any I kind to get move. rejected mm-hmm. or like, hey, this is what it is. Right. Okay. So that's a different situation. Anyway, the friend zone, my friend, hey, this is what I have to say. If you're in there, you should probably just leave. If you know you're if there. you mm-hmm. know you're there. And then if, and then that, you know, and it's hard because what they're like, oh, you know what? I messed up. I messed up. I was treating you wrong. I want to do this, and then you go back, but then you're mm, gotta be gotta be careful. Yeah, did what do they want back? Do they actually want to like pursue something with you, or they just want that convenience back of having access to you? Yeah, another right? time I was friend zoned is like I was, it was date like energy, and and then you know like I I well and that's not friend zone because it's like I made a move. I was like oh okay, it's not that's not where you're at. Mm. Okay, fine. And I never like said, "Hey, let's go like hang out again yeah, you know, in you a know. situation." Doesn't mean I haven't seen, seen I True. see people. True, you know what I'm saying. But it's like it was like I was no more pursuant of a, any type of emotional romantic relationship. I don't think that counts. Could you you essentially shot your shot? Yeah, got rejected. You didn't allow yourself to go into the zone. You just went back exactly. to its original format in a sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You know. All righty. Um. Do you want me to check women, see if there's a different reason? It's probably going to be the same. I feel like it's probably very similar. Yeah. So what have you learned two, today, Butta? Two times. To just get the fuck out. If you're friend zone, fuck them. And I don't mean literally. Uh, <laughs> that's how you stay in the zone. <laughs> yeah, that is. Because <laughs> they will the, use the fuck out of that. Let that me tell you what. Keep you in the zone the longest. Because mm. even at some point, you're just like, I know I'm friend zoned. Mm-hmm. That's the friends with benefits. Design. Especially but, if, hey. yeah, if you've but, made it clear your feelings and yeah. they've made, made it clear that they don't have those kind of feelings. But hey, I'm still willing to fuck if you're down. Mm-hmm. That's the worst spot to be in. Mm-hmm. And, and I again, did that for a year and a fucking half. And that was really stupid of me. And I will not do it again. And again, it, that whole year and a half, potentially people came across your path that could have been better. Yep. Like, could absolutely have been, been that, True. but you didn't allow yourself to go there. Cause, exactly. Because of that. Yeah, that so. I hold out for the hope that this person's going to change their way. Mm-hmm. 
There's well, you're always gonna do that with anything, though. You can do that. You can always second guess things. You just have to. I I don't know. I can't think of that way. I have to try to think of like, well, yes, I feel like this year and a half could have been wasted, but it could have been just a year and a half that nothing's gonna happen anyways. It set me up for this next phase. Not when you look back and you're like, damn, well, I shut always, that uh, down. I shut this I down. I shut oh, that down. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're like, fuck. When you got when you got shooters out there, you're shooting left and right. What you're was just I like, doing? Block, block, block. Being a dumbass. Yeah. I guess that's true. Okay. No. Uh, you know, yeah, fuck right. friend zone. Case is like, I don't I have no idea what that feels like. But getting shot down? Yeah. No, having having, <laughs> having people shoot. <laughs> While you're friend zone. <laughs> Why is he so mean to me? Because you're an asshole. That's what Why I, is he so mean to me? <laughs> like, I'm nothing but a good Because I guy. want you to get out there. I want you to do some defense. Aww. I want you to try to block some shots. What? I'll be blocking them. What? Lock. The scenario in my head is that oh. they're shooting. I don't know. Anyway, I don't either. I feel like you're coaching. I feel like you're more on the sideline, like watching everyone else take shots and run up down the court. And you're like, man, let's let's formulate our, our next play. You know, do you I'm, want a serious relationship? Yeah, I, I, th- I do. I do. I think um, having a loving reciprocated. <laughs> 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 this guy having a loving that. reciprocated relationship is a wonderful thing to have in life. I think that is true. It adds to it. And that's a whole other topic that I can bring up about people who think I don't need a partner. It's like, yeah, well, you know, they're, you know, I think Until you I, do, I think it has I, nothing to do with like whether or think, not you can support yourself. Yeah. It's just companionship in general. Exactly. Yeah. It's the whole companionship and sharing things with another person, doing things solo. It can be wonderful, mm-hmm. like solo travel, this, that, but I have found that things are almost always better shared with another human. Experiences are always better shared with another human, right? And that's why people get friends on because they want more have often that. than not they're better. They want to have that, but not necessarily be with that person. Yeah. They want to so. go on those ferry rides. Yep, with someone, ferry but ride. not necessarily. Yeah. But Taking the, but the ferry person that's to willing to tasting. go with them, they necessarily don't want to give all that to them, so they use that. It's like, oh, you want to go? Yeah. Go to couple skating night, but you're not a couple. Couple skating night. I just made that up. It's a thing I heard. Mm. I think it is me. a thing. It probably is a thing. It is. I'm pretty sure. Of course, yeah. yeah. So anyway, yeah. tell us your friend zone stories. Why you been friend zone? How you been friend zone? And are you getting out of that friend zone? Get out. Get and, out. and I don't mean by getting into their pants. I'm saying get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Like the show. Get out. The movie. 